Now here at Yorkshire Tea, we've teamed up with the people at Little Chef who sell over two million cups of tea a year because, like us, they're really passionate about serving a proper brew on the roadside. So what you're going to see here is a little bit of the detail, the magic and expertise that goes on behind the scenes of making a perfect cup of tea to make sure that customers at Little Chef get a proper brew every time. So to develop your palate to taste tea professionally, it takes about two years. So at the moment we taste about 1,100 teas a day. Tea changes from day to day in terms of its quality. So you have to taste a really large amount of it to ensure that you find the right quality. And in order to do that, there's a special technique to taste. So essentially you've got about 9,000 taste buds on your tongue. And the idea behind tasting is you have to slurp up the liquid sharply spray those 9,000 taste buds but also suck in that oxygen because the oxygen is going to help you decide on the taste of the characteristic. Right, thick, 170. Roll the liquid around on your tongue and that gives you an idea of the body and the weight because tea should never be as thin as water. And then we spit it out. Basically the key recipe for a good cup of tea involves richness, brightness and briskness. We do have a few more unusual terms in the tea taste and terminology, one of them being gutty. And a lot of people who like Yorkshire tea like it because of its strength, and that's what we refer to as guts. But Yorkshire tea, we take some of the richest and the best tea out of Assam in northeastern India during its peak quality season, teas that are renowned for being gutty. We'll then blend it with teas from Eastern Africa. Now high grown teas from around Kenya and Rwanda and Tanzania even have a real briskness too. Now briskness is a characteristic that gives a lot of flavour and refreshment. The first step in making the perfect pot of tea. It's really important to warm the teapot up first with a bit of your boiled water. And our tea bags will do two cups, so I'm going to do three tea bags for the pot. Three, but I like mine quite strong, so I'm going to put an extra one in for good luck. Now because we're using tea bags, it's really important just to give it a quick stir to make sure that the tea bags are not stuck together and they're free um, and they have enough room to infuse properly. So recommend that you leave it for between three and five minutes depending on personal preference. Um, but basically there's no need to mash it and bash it with the spoon. Give it a quick stir and let it do what it does best and just infuse naturally. The next step causes great debate. Um, basically do you put your milk in first? Are you a miffy or do you put your milk in after? Are you a tiffy? Personally, I think I'm classed as a miffy because I like to put my milk in first. 